In this example, we are drawing the Bode plot of function g of s. In this function, we can identify three main building blocks. The first one is the 0 at negative 10, so a real 0. The second is the pole at negative 1. We have two poles at negative 1. And the third one is the other pole at negative 100, which means that I have three cutoff frequencies, one radians per second for these two poles, 10 radians per second for this 0, and 100 for the other pole. So here we have the original function, and here is the function written in the standard form we need for body plot. Looking at very low frequencies, to the left of all cutoff frequencies, the only thing acting on the body plot is the gain 0 0.1. So the gain at very low frequencies would be 20 log of 0 0.1, which is negative 20 dB. So the gain is negative 20 decibels up to the first cutoff frequency, which is 1 radians per second. So from 0 0.1 to 1, we have negative 20 dB. At 1 radians per second, we encounter the first cutoff frequency, which is due to these two poles at negative 1. Each pole adds a slope of negative 20 decibels per decade. So the total slope now is negative 40 decibels per decade. And this will go on up to the next cutoff frequency, which will be 10. Now from 1 to 10, we have these two poles. The slope becomes negative 40 dB, which means that if you move the frequency by 10, by a factor of 10, the body plot goes down by 40 dB. So we should be at around negative 60 dB. Because this slope here is negative 40 decibels per decade due to these two poles at negative 1. When you now reach 10 radians per second, we have a 0. The 0 adds plus 20 dB per decade. It will add plus 20 dB to a existing slope of negative 40 dB. It doesn't make the slope 20 decibels per decade. It adds 20 decibels per decade to the slope immediately before it. Which means that now the slope becomes negative 20 dB. So we are at here 60, negative 60 dB. If you go from 10 to 100, that is a factor of 10. In the frequency, the body plot goes down by 20 dB. So now the slope becomes negative 20 decibels per decade. Here we were at negative 60. So here we are now at negative 80 decibels. When you reach now 100 radians per second, we have a another pole. So the pole adds negative 20 dB to this slope, which means that things will now go down again by negative 40 dB per decade. Negative 20 plus additional pole, negative 20, negative 40. So from 100 to 1000, the body plot needs to go down by another 40 dB. So the slope becomes negative 40. Here we are at negative 80. We go down by negative 40. Here we have negative 100 dB at 1000 radians per second. Now, of course, here we neglect the 3 dB at each cutoff frequency. In reality, the magnitude here should have been negative 23 dB if you had one pole at negative 1. So negative 20 plus minus 3 at the cutoff frequency. But because you have two poles, this should be negative 26 dB negative 3 for each. When you get to negative, when you get to 10, 10 adds 3 dB above the uh, current value. So we would have negative 66 up to this point, plus 3 from the 0 would be negative 63 dB. And here at 100, we have negative 83 would have negative 63 minus 20, that would be negative 83, minus the 3 dB from this pole would be negative 86 decibels. And of course, at 1000 radians per second, we would be at a negative 126 dB. Now let's look at the phase. If you go to the left of all cutoff frequencies, we don't have any poles or zeros at the origin. We only have this gain acting on the body plot. So it is easy to say that the phase at very low frequencies is zero. It is zero up to the first cutoff frequency. The first cutoff frequency comes from these two poles at negative one. Each adds negative 90 degrees to the phase. 
the phase goes down by 180 degrees, 90 for each pole. And this stays at negative 180 up to the next cutoff frequency at 10. This is a zero. The zero adds 90 degrees, so we go up to 90 degrees, negative 90 degrees. And this stays at that value up to the next cutoff frequency, 100, another pole, another negative 90 degrees. So you go from negative 90 back to 100, negative 180. If you don't interpolate to this curve, you should get something like this. Passing here by nine, negative 90 degrees, halfway. Passing here by negative 135, if I had done this properly. And here is negative 135 as well. So here we have the phase, and here we have the magnitude of the function g of s.